Okay, this is a quick look in making a scrunchie burrito style. So it's uh, 24 inches long, so that's doubled up here, and uh, four inches wide. And you're gonna need about nine and a half inches of quarter inch elastic. So the first thing you do is uh, sew it into a circle. So right sides together, sew the seam right here. Oops. And you have this. Ta-da! Okay, so you have a circle. And basically you fold it. Get this thing in the middle. Finger press this. Turn it around and then match the edges and fold it down. You're folding it as narrow as you can because now you're gonna put right sides together here, matching the seams. And then you normally clip it. Okay, so we're gonna sew it closed like this and you're gonna see me feeding it through. But the main thing is to keep this little burrito in there, or I should say the filling of the burrito. Okay, so here we go. All right, so the interesting part is coming up. What do we do at this point? Well, you're gonna be pulling it through. You can start or whatever, and, and you see I'm gonna open it up, and we're gonna keep sewing like this until we get, get back to the beginning of my sewing and leave a two inch gap. So here we go. When I get to the end, I pull it through. And you can see it gets pretty crunched up over here. So you want to ease it through. Make sure your inside stays out of the seam line. And just open this up. Hopefully I can speed this up, but if I don't, just go to the end. <laughs> and just keep easing it down. See, it gets bunched up over here. I just pull it through. So this is the same burrito method that you make the donut just with thicker, more material. Okay. I'm not there yet, but I have to keep managing my inside out turn. Okay, see, you can just pull it apart. Keep that in the middle, keep sewing. And it's really good, depending on your machine, um, that it ends its stitch with the needle down. That will hold everything in place. So I'm just using the inside to pull it. And then you see here, can you see? I'm at the end where I started sewing. So just even everything out. Make sure the insides are in. Keep sewing. All right, so this is where I began sewing. See that right here? And you need about 
I, I think two inches is good. Do a back stitch. All right, so what you really want to do to turn it inside out is to basically just get this whole thing over. Can you see it? Just pull it out. Don't let it bunch up too much. Ta-da! There you go. Okay, and to get our elastic in, you find the opening wherever that beautiful, magical place is. Where is it? Okay, my opening. And just use a, get your elastic, put it through, coming through. And then when you get your elastic, the way to close it is to, when you get your two ends together, is to do one of these two ends, push it through, get, leave about an inch, and not only tighten it, but test it that it doesn't slide out. Um, I normally measure nine and a half inches. I thought two inches was too big of a scrunchie. So I use nine and a half inches, which gives you about eight inches. But when you make your first scrunchie, test it out, see what you think. That's it. The burrito method. I like it.